So I'm just going to list some air bikes off for you. The Schwinn Airdyne 82, the Schwinn Airdyne 84, the Schwinn Airdyne 86, the Schwinn Airdyne 80 Pro, the Assault Airbike, the Zebex Airbike, the Zebex Airmill, the Body Solid FB300, the Concept 2 Biker, which is kind of an airbike, but it doesn't have arms, and so on and so on. There's, you know, I've seen probably around 25 or so air bikes that are worth kind of paying attention to. I've used and reviewed all of the top, you know, eight or so, and I'm gonna tell you which one is the best one. So if you're looking for an air bike, this is the video that you want to watch. reviews and I'm excited to bring this one because I get asked all the time because I have reviewed so many air bikes coop what is the one air bike that you would buy and I'm gonna answer that question for you today so my first category is the best air bike without arms and really there's only one bike within this category granted there's some competitors you got like the watt bike and you got some others but in my opinion the best overall and this includes you know just like we did in the barbell video it includes you know overall construction it includes versatility and it includes mobility of the bike it includes the monitor it includes the durability and also it includes the price as other factors i've actually listed all these on on the site in an article i did on the best air bike so if you'd like more information than i can provide in this video you can check that out in the link in the bio below but the best air bike without arms, in my opinion, is the Concept 2 Bikerg. The Concept 2 Bikerg is Concept 2's version of their ergs like the Ski Erg, the Rower for cyclists. If I was just gonna have one bike, this would be the one I have, okay? It doesn't have arms, but what a lot of people don't realize is most people, when they get you know, tired whenever they're working out, they're not using a lot of their upper body on an Airdyne or an air bike, okay? They're using mostly lower body anyways. And the Concept 2 Biker allows you to go from basically a spin bike without any brake on it, really light, really easy to use, to something that's very difficult, requires a lot of power output, and it's just got that versatility. Not only that, it's made by Concept 2, so you know it's gonna have the awesome PM5 monitor, it's not gonna require much maintenance, if any maintenance, it actually has these you know, polygroove belts that are self-tensioning, so no longer you have to worry about chains. It's gonna have their warranty, it's gonna last, and it's just gonna work, okay? And that's one of the great things about Concept2. Yes, I wish they created an air bike with arms. That said, the Concept2 biker is outstanding, okay? And so it's our top pick for the best air bike without arms. Now moving on to traditional air bikes with arms, I'm gonna start with the budget pick, then go runner up, and then give you my top pick. So my budget pick is the Zebex Airmill from GetRx, okay? Zebex has been around for a little while. They're a company based out of China. Basically, a lot of these companies are buying these bikes from China, they're bringing them over, and they're rebranding them, okay? And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. But the Zebex Airmill, in my opinion, is the best budget-friendly bike because it's taken everything that the Zebex air bike has and it's just changed out the arms and lowered the price by about $200, okay? For the price, the Zebex Airmill is an outstanding bike, okay? It's made of full metal construction, it's got a wide base, it's got an awesome big fan wheel, it's got a great monitor, that's kind of, in my opinion, the reason that it's the budget pick and not the runner-up, because I think our runner-up has a much better monitor than the air mill does. But I've reviewed the air bike in the past and I give it super high rating because it's an awesome bike, it really is. That said, you need to understand that it still has a chain drive. So I just talked about the Concept2 biker having these polygroove belts that are self-tensioning and don't require any maintenance. The Zebex air mill is going to require maintenance because it still has a chain drive. It has two chain drives. And chains require oiling, they can sometimes get off the sprockets and the chain rings and they're really, you know, they're also kind of loud. Okay, this is louder than say our top pick or the Concept2 where really the only noise that comes from those is the air that's spinning through the fan. But if you want a budget friendly air bike, I would not go any further. In fact, 
This one and our runner-up are very close and almost the same bikes. So I did a poll on our Instagram a little while ago and I had around 3,500 or so people see it and quite a few people voted and I asked, you know, what's your favorite air bike? And the one that came up most, it was around 60% or so, was the Assault air bike and that's our runner-up. And I'm gonna give you a few reasons why, okay? First off, just to drop maybe a bomb for some of you, the Assault air bike is pretty much the exact same bike as the Zebex air bike and the Zebex air mill. In fact, I would not be surprised, and I actually tried to do some research on this in Assault when I went through the chat box, wouldn't really help me much, they weren't very friendly. But from what I saw, they're both made in Taiwan and they may be made in the same factory, okay? They're based on the exact same design. In fact, I posted on Instagram a while ago, basically showing like six or seven different bikes that are all based on the exact same design. The only difference is the monitors, okay? So our budget pick and our runner-up pick, the Zebex Airmail, our budget pick, and the Assault Air Bike, our runner-up, are pretty much the exact same bikes, except for the monitors, okay? And the Assault Air Bike is a little bit more expensive. That said, the Assault Air Bike is one, the coolest looking bike, I think, okay? So if that matters to you. Second of all, Assault has a pretty good warranty and they're easy to find and they're gonna have a great resale value on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And three, they're used in the CrossFit Games, okay? So if you train specifically for CrossFit and want to train for the CrossFit Games, you know, there's very few people out there that actually, you know, are at that level, but that said, if you're gonna do that, then I'd suggest getting the Assault Air Bike. The Assault Air Bike features the same construction as our runner-up. The main differences are the looks, they may have a little bit different seats, and also the monitor. In fact, the Zebex Airmail actually features around the same handles, the same you know pedals, the same chain drive, the same fan, pretty much the same everything. It's just got more of a glossy finish, okay? So that makes our top pick, the number one pick, a bike that you may not have heard of, the Schwinn Airdyne Pro, the Schwinn 80 Pro. The Schwinn 80 Pro is by far the best air bike out there. In fact, I've had every iteration of all the air bikes I've talked about. I've used all of them. I've reviewed them. And right now in my garage, the air bikes that I have is a Schwinn Airdyne Pro and the Concept2 Biker, okay? The other ones I got rid of, I gave them friends, things like that, because I don't need, you know, five air bikes in my garage. And that's really the one that I really like is the Schwinn Airdyne Pro. Not because it's a crazy better build or anything like that, but because it has a belt drive instead of the chain drive system that the Assault bike, the Air Mill, and every other bike out there has. Schwinn really went back to the drawing board when they created this bike. They decided, you know, we're gonna create something for the commercial market. We're not just gonna make it look pretty and overbuilt on the outside. We're gonna make it a true commercial quality bike by changing the internals, okay? And so they added these belt drive to the system. It's not only more responsive, but it doesn't require any maintenance. I've never had any issues, and I put tons of meters on these things. And I haven't had any problems with them, okay? I cannot say the same about the Assault bike, or the Zebex bikes, or any of the other ones with chains. Not only is it smoother, more responsive, require less maintenance, but it's also quieter. It still moves a lot of air and still makes a lot of noise, but it doesn't have like the clanking, you know, that comes from all the metal parts and all the chain, everything like that on say the Assault bike. And it's just a great bike. I mean, I love the monitor on it. I love the quality of it, moving it around. I mean, it's outstanding, it really is. That said, it's a little bit more expensive than what you're gonna find with the Assault bike. The Schwinn Airdyne Pro retails, or at least the price you can get it for, is right under a thousand dollars. You can get the Assault Air Bike for around 800. So you're gonna be paying for $200 more. Is it worth that? I think it is, okay? I think if the, I think if you could get the Assault Bike for a little bit less, say 700, I would probably choose the Assault Bike, like there's a little bit of discrepancy there. But if you want the absolute best, in my opinion, the Schwinn AD Pro can't be touched. It truly is the best. So these are the best air bikes that I've chosen. These are the ones that I've used and I think are the best. Let me know what bike you think's the best and why you think it's the best. Okay, if you disagree with that, no big deal. Just let me know in the comments below. If you don't mind, leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, greatly appreciate it. But 
I'll give you some more reviews coming up. This has been Coop with GarageGymReviews.com. I'll talk to you later.